Let's start today's tech talks with Huawei. Huawei Mate 50, first ever design renders have been leaked out. This smartphone is expected to be launched in June or July 2022. This smartphone will have FHD Plus OLED display with a center punch hole camera, Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 4G processor or Kirin 9000 5G processor, Wi-Fi 6 and will come on Harmony OS 3 operating system. Micromax is going to launch its Micromax in Note 2 in India on 25th of January and its expected specifications have been leaked out. This smartphone will have 6.43 inch AMOLED display with the center punch hole camera 48 megapixel quad rear camera setup, MediaTek Helio G95 processor, glass back finish, side mounted fingerprint sensor, liquid cooling technology, 30 watt fast charging, Android 11 will be available in brown and blue colors and this smartphone is expected to be priced between rupees 12,000 to rupees 14,000. Garmin launched its Garmin Venue 2 Plus smartwatch in India. This smartwatch comes in a single 43mm size with a 1.3 inch AMOLED display, 416 by 416 pixel resolution, always on display, Gorilla Glass free protection, 9 days battery life, its total weight is just 51 grams. It is 5 atmospheric resistance, built-in microphone, GPS, 75 workout modes, Bixby, Google and Siri assistance. This smartwatch is available in graphite black, cream gold and powder grey colors and this smartwatch is priced at Rs 46,990. Black Shark 5 series gaming smartphones are going to be launched in China in February. Xiaomi started rolling out MIUI 13 updates for Redmi Note 10 Pro, Redmi Note 10 and Mi 11 Lite global variant for the pilot test. Vivo launched its Vivo Wire 33 in Mexico. This smartphone has 6.58 inch FHD plus IPS LCD 1080 by 2400 pixel resolution display, side mounted fingerprint sensor, 48 plus 2 plus 2 megapixel triple rear camera setup, 16 megapixel selfie camera, MediaTek Helio G80 processor, 5000mAh battery with 18W charging, Android 11 with Funtouch OS 11.1, it is available in rainbow blue and black ocean colors. This smartphone is launched in a single variant of 4GB, 128GB at a price of 6300 Mexican Peso that is around Rs 22,800. Vivo launched its Vivo Y 21A in India. This smartphone has 6.51 inch HD plus IPS LCD 720 by 1600 pixel resolution display, side mounted fingerprint sensor, MediaTek Helio P22 processor, 13 plus 2 megapixel dual rear camera setup, 8 megapixel selfie snapper, 5000 mAh battery with 18 watt charging, 3.5 mm audio jack. This smartphone is 8 mm thick. It weighs 182 grams. 
it comes with android 11 with touch os 11.1 and it is available in midnight blue and diamond gold colors Porsche revealed its Porsche Cayenne Platinum Edition and it could also be launched in India. Mahindra ends partnership with Sangyon Motors after 10 years. Lamborghini Sterato off-road supercar is in production. Maserati India is planning to launch Maserati Levante Hybrid and Maserati MC20 this year. Talk Motors is going to launch its Talk Kratos e-bike in India on 26th of January. BMW is developing with adjustment seats for its bikes and it files a patent for the same. This is the end of today's Tech Talk session. I hope you like it. Please like, subscribe and share my videos with your friends and family members. Now I will see you all on Wednesday with the next episode of Tech Talks by Bala. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, save water and remember to wear the mask.